Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and we are going to talk about something coming to Google Chrome and pretty much every Chromium browser. And this, of course, can be, be implemented in a lot of software. All software that is installed can actually have this as a feature. So newer processors, um, typically Intel 11th generation or later, AMD Zen 3 CPUs or later, are capable of something that is hardware enforced stack protection. So what is that and what does it do? Basically, you have two types of security in a computer. You can it can be done in software, which is one way to, you know, mitigate and and help in staying safe. An example, the antivirus you have on your PC is software protection. But one that is much more tough and much more resistant to attacks is when you do security features in hardware and the actual chips. One of the reasons is that software security, if somehow breached, can be modified and can be turned into turned off, basically. And I've seen that a lot, actually, over the years. Malware breaks the antivirus, making you believe you're still protected, but you're not. Hardware protection, on the other way, cannot be changed. Hardware protection is there and runs, so there's no way to stop that from running, which means that malware has a much harder time not being detected because there's no way to turn off all the security because of the hardware one. So newer CPUs have this, and now we learned that Google Chrome is actually adding this security protection. So it's going to be harder to write exploits and to uh, you know hijack PCs and do things without um, with this new security added security if you want. So basically, this is going to make our PCs or supposed to make our PCs a little more um, secure over time. And this is not just Google Chrome that's adding this. Uh, if you have one of the recent CPUs, like I said, 11th gen uh, Intel or later, or um, a, a Zen 3 from AMD or later, this hardware implementation is there. And um, even, for example, Microsoft Edge version 90 or later actually has this security. Uh, if um, in, in Chromium and of course Chromium browsers all will be able to have this because it's going to be implement implemented within Chromium so that means Brave, Opera, so on will actually have this implemented thanks to the Chromium base for it. Uh, now you might be using Firefox uh, or what, what's going to happen with them so Firefox doesn't use Chromium as a base which means they have to do their own thing. Firefox web browser will actually um, eventually implement this. It seems that Mozilla is actually looking into including support for the Intel CET uh, in the Firefox web browser. So um, basically, there is no status update right now. So we'll see if uh, they actually do it eventually. But uh, this is kind of nice. And uh, this is going to possibly add security to anybody using their uh, computers. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.